Yeah, okay. when we were talking, you said, sir, there are some things that are being created so that uh, can have more fans at the stadium and the other the musicians. What are some of the things that you think they need to do, need to create? Because it is more like you are saying we should be creating gimmicks, we should plan the things. So what are some of the things? So, so basically all I was saying is, um, you know, the event of the planet should sit down with that. Maybe as a state, want to charge X amount of money. You know, now, the event of the needs to sit down with the artist. It's about, it's about, it's about, it's about, it's about Ghana. You understand? Because we are, we are not doing this in Ghana, we are doing this outside of Ghana. And to capture eyeballs or to make Ghana relevant, there are sacrifices you all need to make. So if the place is 5,000, yeah, we are hoping to sell 3,000 capacity. And now the 2,000 will still there. It's okay. Now, based on that, if you are charging X, we are asking you to take Y so that we can help do that. Now, once you speak to the artists like that, there will be, um, be consideration here on your part, there will be consideration there. Now, if we all understand both parties, because without the event organizer, there will be no show. Without the artists, there will be no show. So once you still sit down and plan for food, all the things that we see that our compatriots are doing, the African people are doing, we can achieve. Look, it's, 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 it's fact that not every film show everybody paid I'm telling you, these are things people don't say, people don't talk about. We've been doing events for so long. It looks as if any time we gather as industry people, we will always cheat in Nigerians. Do you think it's enough? Is this something that we should continue doing or we have to put a stop to it? For me, it depends on how we, 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 we say it. I like what Elon Bini said. If we're going to mention them and take inspiration, it's fine. But if we're going to mention them and uh, disrespect or, or, or yes. yes, then we should not. Mm. You so okay. currently we, you are having or you are part of the management team of one of the biggest artists yeah. in Ghana yeah. for so many years. Yeah. Yeah. Are you worried or the team, are you people worried about like its impact in Africa or the world? We're not. I mean, because any time we want to even compare or rate, you can never ignore Shatawali. So are you worried about the conversations about we not going international, we not feeling the stadium, we not being able to? I mean, I mean, I mean when you say impact, I mean, across the African um, space, a lot of our artists are doing across, across the world. Yeah, across the world. Across the world, actually. But it doesn't take one artist to fail at a degree. So, even the best kids or the Davidos have support. So, yes, Davido might headline the show. Whiskey might headline the show. But definitely, you know that he's going to be a banner boy, two face, and all that stuff. So, it doesn't matter who's headlining the show. Shut up to the headline the show. And bring along the brother, the sack on the end, the school boys. At the end of the day, it's about Ghana. And I think once we are able to say, Ghana wins, you win, I win. Just like football, the way we rally around is lazy, sporting people. You know, and give our hearts and actually pay them. It's the same way we need to. Anytime we have a musical concert out there, it has to be like a match. Ghana versus the world. And we need to support, we need to come up. Once we start pushing that agenda, we get that. Okay, the, the uh, research Chatawale's approach towards the Nigerian, do you think it's the best? I mean, because I mean, some, people, there are some people think that uh, if you collaborate with them, it's better than you trying to like, fight them or trying to speak to them. I think after a few weeks, himself came back and said, hey, well, look, play the Nigerian music. Once they are paying you, think about yourself. He said it himself. I'm sure maybe he had a reason. But everybody in the house, I believe that the Nigerians are opening the door. And the door that is open here yeah, is a door we can all go through. Yes. Now, let me tell you how 
important the Nigerian movement is. How the, how important the, the Nigerian movement is for, for the Ghana, Ghana, Ghana too. Look, when this kid did his show at the O2 Arena, he didn't even see a Ghanaian there. Good. King Promise was on there, and that's for Ghana. It was a win. Unfortunately for us, many of us did not make that stage. So check this out. Imagine we had four or five more people. Imagine we had a shot on that stage. Imagine we had this accordion on that stage. Look at the impact. I mean, King Promise made a huge impact. But imagine we had more. So there's a door. There's a small window. We can all fit through and jump and do greater things. Okay, you are one of the biggest managers, music managers in Ghana. Yes, you are. You are managing, you are one of the biggest, I don't want to go into that. Do you have any suggestion, like one suggestion or something that you want the industry to focus on so that you have this agenda? I think, I think, like I said, we should put our differences aside. Mm. We should put our differences aside mm. and understand that anything that we do is for Ghana, mm. is for the nation. Mm. Once we start having those thoughts, once we start thinking like that, we'll be fine. Who, who says Nigeria is on fight? Who says the Chinese? Who says the Europeans? But when it's time to make the flag proud, everybody drops their differences. And we move to the next level. So events like this is an invasion. It's an invasion. You understand? So we need to rally around this event and make the state paint in London. And say, hey, these people are here. Because in real sense, we migrated to, 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 to London way before the Okay, in conclusion, I know you are more concerned about the country. <laughs> so, me level is the current trending issue. What do you think about it? I said it. On, <laughs> I said it on a platform, and I'll say it again. We should change it from E level to F level because it's a foolish level. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense. I'm not against, or I'm not kicking against taking taxes because without taxes, a country cannot run. You understand? But when you take the taxes and you don't put it to use for the benefit of the citizenry, then why take them? There are so many things you are being taxed for already. And what are the results? We all see it. I think from, from tomorrow there is fuel increase. Again, what, what do you think about the economy? Is again, it, is it hard? Again, is the economy hard? Know, like did you just say yes, what? Yes, yes, because it's serving something already. Yes, yes. Truly they are breaking the egg. It is the most <laughs> Do you think things are we in our time? Look, um, the country is grinding gradually to a point. So to say hard is an understatement. It's extremely difficult. Yes. Look, and the sad aspect is there are no jobs. Even if there were jobs and you were getting a meager salary, you say, oh, I'm going to plan my life ahead and do this and do that. But there's nothing. Everybody that you see, every individual that you see is an entrepreneur. They are trying to do stuff for their, 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 themselves. And the patronage is low. You, you, you wonder why the patronage is low. People don't have money to come out and spend. It's sad. You know, so, um, hey, these, this particular administration is a huge, huge disappointment. And they know it in their hearts. You ask yourself what they are going to tell us. Come to, to, to 2020. What, what campaign message are they going to do? No campaign message. What, what, what message? They need to come with an apology to the people of Ghana. Yes. Okay. That's what they need to come and now say, listen, we, we are not even ready. Don't vote for us. We are going. <laughs> they don't have to come. No, no, no. Contest. No. <laughs> they should put their hands behind their backs. And come and beg and go. Oh, yes. Okay, so thank you, Ross. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs>